modding Skyrim has never been better. Every day there are countless new mods being released, and today I have picked a few of my favourites from the past few months that you should be using in your own mod list. So let's jump right in with the mod called The Dragonborn's Bestiary. This mod implements a novel idea by introducing a compendium of all the animals and creatures you come across in your adventures of Skyrim. What this means is when you interact with a creature, such as a giant, it will get added to your bestiary. Once added, it will give you a short description as well as its strength and weaknesses and what loot you can obtain from said creature. This is a fantastic mod that compels you to go out exploring and find new entries to add to your bestiary. In fact, when I first installed it, I wanted to go out and discover every beast and creature I could, like I was trying to complete my very own Skyrim themed Pokedex. It also serves as a great resource providing valuable information throughout your entire playthrough, and doesn't get up in your face. You can simply interact with it whenever you want. Highly recommend you check out this mod. Then we have another mod that highlights exploration called More Underwater Treasures, which simply adds more boats, ruins and loot to be found sunken in the lakes and oceans throughout the world. In vanilla Skyrim, underwater areas are fairly barren and don't offer a real reason to explore them. But with this mod, you will find these areas to be much more interesting and rewarding for your character. Overall, it adds close to 100 new locations throughout both Skyrim and Solstheim. And if you do install this mod, I recommend getting the version without map markers or your map will become a little cluttered over time. Sticking with the theme of exploration, the mod called Ascend Hidden Peaks of Skyrim is another fantastic addition. When adventuring across Skyrim, you may have noticed you cannot climb some of the tallest peaks, but now with this mod, you can. With the power of the EVG traversal framework, you can climb, jump and squeeze your way to the top of several mountains throughout Skyrim and Solstheim. Getting to the top isn't easy either, as the path can often be hard to distinguish and I found myself falling a few times, which I think adds to the spectacle and enhances the feeling of when you do manage to reach the top, alongside the stunning view. There is also a small buff to your character if you do manage to reach the peak, and altogether provides a very rewarding experience for your playthrough. Moving on, we have a new environmental mod called Freak's Floral Fields, which will overhaul the grasses all over Skyrim, and I have to say is one of the most diverse grass mods I've ever seen. Not only does each environment feel unique and different, ranging from the autumn leaves of the rift to the long grass of the Whiterun Plains and the deep forest of Falkreath, but each location feels incredibly diverse in itself with a huge range of flowers, ferns and undergrowth that litter the landscape. You can really tell how much thought and care went into creating this mod, and it has quickly become one of my favourite grass mods to date. So if you're looking for a change in scenery, I recommend checking this one out. Another mod that provides a nice visual touch is called Utenland's Nordic Tents, which will overhaul the Nordic Tents you see bandits and the Stormcloak soldiers using into a Viking inspired design. The quality of this mod is fantastic, offering stunning visual clarity and a variety of colours. It also fits really well within the aesthetic of Skyrim in my opinion, lending itself to the Norse style and design. A great and simple mod. Up next is another visual replacer mod called Tomato's Caves and Mines, which as the name implies, revamps the cave and mine textures in the deep dark places of Skyrim, as well as adding complex parallax height maps to get that nice 3D effect. The textures here look great, which goes for a lot of Tomato's mods. In fact, I think Tomato is kinda underrated, so I also recommend checking out their mod page for even more amazing texture mods many of which I personally use in my own mod list. Moving on to some creature mods, we have the new Trolls Replacer mod that will visually overhaul the Skyrim Trolls into a three-eyed gorilla type beast. This mod is super creative, that actually builds upon the original design really well while retaining that brutal combat presence at the same time. The textures and overall appearance are all very high quality that come together to make a fantastic addition to your game. 
Another visual creature mod, and possibly one of the best ever, is simply called Draugr. This mod overhauls how the Draugr look in Skyrim, offering a unique mummified appearance with decaying flesh hanging off the bones of each undead enemy. The quality here is outstanding with beautiful or rather grotesque textures that totally transform the vanilla Draugr into more modern standards as well as building upon the horror and panic of exploring ancient Nordic ruins. Without a doubt, one of my favourite mods released this year. Up next is possibly my favourite new mod released over the past few months called Dismembering Framework. Not so long ago, you may recall a beheading mod which allowed you to behead your enemies in combat, while the same author has expanded on that idea with this mod allowing you to not only behead your enemies, but also dismember their arms and legs as well. This mod single-handedly makes combat feel more gratifying and visceral to experience as you literally slice through your opponents. Each weapon you wield has a different chance in loosening a limb, for example, a two-handed sword is more likely than a one-handed axe, but there is also a comprehensive MCM that allows you to edit these values for each weapon as well as change many other settings to your liking, overall creating a very fun and unique combat experience that is totally new to Skyrim. Then we have a small collection of mods by the author Frank Black, who has gradually been releasing these little nuggets of object diversity into Skyrim. What I mean by that is for example, instead of seeing the same tanning rack in every city and camp, you will see different kinds with different animal skin and other effects. This theme continues with other objects such as windmill sails, farm fences and fireplaces. I love these little touches of diversity that add variety and nuance to the world, making it feel real and more immersive. I will link all the ones I use and enjoy down below, but I'm sure you can find more on their mod page as well. Up next is a new sound mod by Clofus called Distant Rolling Thunder, which with the power of Sound Record Distributor will add thunder sounds to exterior regions depending on the weather. In particular, during a storm, this mod lends itself so well to the ambience, it feels as if you are really there. It's also compatible with all weather mods, and is a perfect immersion building mod for any mod list. Also, if you're wanting similar type sound mods, you should definitely check out the mod author's page, as you will not be disappointed. Then we have a mod called Precision Magic Trails. Users of the mod called Precision will be aware that it adds weapon trails, adding a nice effect when you swing your weapon. While this mod expands on that, providing alternate visual effects to your weapon swing, depending on what enchantment you have. For example, a fire enchantment will produce flames, a frost enchantment will produce an icicle effect, and a shock enchantment will produce a trail of lightning. The mod is very simple, but incredibly effective, and creates a nice visual point of difference for your enchanted weaponry. Now let's move on to some armor mods, and there are a couple I want to showcase from the last few months. Starting with the Riyadh Swordman set, which adds a red guard themed light armor to the game, including a sword and shield. The shield in particular has an awesome design and overall the entire fit feels very lore friendly, matching the aesthetic of Skyrim. The armor does require HDT physics to get the flowing cape to work as intended and it can be crafted with the advanced smithing perk, altogether making one of my favorite armor mods of the year. Another fantastic new armor mod is the Southbound Scouts which adds two new outfits centered around clothing and leather to perfectly fit with a mage or archer type character. Each set comes in four different colors and although the outfits are inspired by Elden Ring and Baldur's Gate, I find the design works really well in Skyrim too. Again, this mod does require HDT physics to work and can be crafted at the forge. Overall, both of these armor sets are very high quality and worth the download for your new Skyrim adventure. Up next is actually a new and upgraded version of the mod known as Whiterun Has Walls. This redone version is much larger in scale, with bigger towers and wooden slate roofing, as well as most notably, walkable walls so you can now patrol your favorite city from above and look out over the Whiterun Tundra. 
The overhaul affects both exterior and interior walls to give the city a more fortified appearance that would be easier to defend in a siege. Overall, the design is fantastic that totally transforms the city of Whiterun. There is also a patch hub for compatibility with other Whiterun mods and for those interested, I will link the wall texture I am using down below as well. Then we have the brand new mod called Sensible Oculary Solution. When playing Skyrim, you probably encountered this puzzle that required you to press buttons but with no obvious rhyme or reason to what the buttons actually meant. The likely answer is it was left unfinished or cut from the final product. But now with this mod, the center console will change and reflect what buttons you press. This little interface is very simple but offers a nice visual element to the puzzle that makes sense and is logical to finding the solution. A very creative mod with a nice quality of life touch. And lastly is the mod called Grab and Throw. Very simply, this mod will allow you to grab and throw objects as you please. This new interaction can serve as a distraction to your enemies or as a way to hurt them. It also comes with a configuration file, so you can play around with the settings as you like, but overall this mod is very simple and provides a very fun and new way to mess around with objects and other NPCs in the game. And that's it for some new and interesting Skyrim mods released in 2024. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you again next time. Happy modding everyone!